oh, 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 oh. Margie and Whitney are waving at each other. And they're, oh my God, Margie's walking up to Whitney. Oh my God, look at her. She's literally, I, oh my God, Margie. Margie wants Whitney so bad. Look, she's literally sitting right next to her and watching her work out. She's pretending to read that book. Like when we walk away from this, she's gonna be staring at Whitney the whole time. Margie wants Whitney so bad. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're back on Animal Crossing with our... What am I trying to say? I don't know. I am going to be working on some houses today, specifically the final two houses that I have left to landscape, that being Wolfgang's house, which is right over there, as well as Agnes's, which I'll do later on in the video, probably. We'll see. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say other than that, so we're just going to get right into it. As you can see, kind of already started. Um, As always, I like to plan out what the fuck is Wolfgang wearing? <laughs> Wolf... <laughs> Ew. Wow, Button, you're looking pretty sty- At least one of us are looking stylish right now, I will say that. I got something to compliment the look you've got gone. Some slacks, not bad. We should just cut Wolfgang some slack. He tried his best. That's all that matters. Just want you to look your best. You know, I'm gonna return the favor right now. There has to be something in my closet that I can give to Wolfgang. I'm gonna give him this jacket. Yeah. That's what I'll give him. Only five minutes into recording and I'm already saving somebody from a fashion emergency. I feel like Barbie. I think it's about time you stopped dressing yourself up in the mornings. That just looks a million times better. And he's giving me a tennis sweater. Ugh, thank God. That's actually one of the cute ones in the game, so... I will gladly accept- I already have that one. Damn it. You can kind of see I already have like an idea for what I want to do. I'm trying to go for like a very foresty cabin vibe, um, as you can see. And, um, as always, there's inspiration behind this madness because there always is. Lakewood Island on Instagram, you probably know who they are. Yada yada. Ugh. I don't need to explain myself, do I? We all know the drill. I see something cute on Instagram and then I want to copy it because I'm an original. Just gonna create like a little garbage corner because I like giving people garbage corners because my villagers are trash <laughs> i don't know where what's what to talk about what to discuss today um anything exciting um i guess like because it is officially october you know nintendo hey nintendo it's me again your boy uh where's brewster where is the direct i i kind of wanted to oh by the way here's agnes's house before i ramble for a second this is where i'm gonna put her house i'm gonna time travel tomorrow and then work on that later nintendo direct in general like f at first i was kind of like thinking to myself i'm like there's no way in hell it's gonna be like anything crazy it's probably just gonna be brewster maybe some new seasonal items and such and then i realized like it's a direct they're giving us an animal crossing direct like a full-fledged presentation meaning like it's gonna be at least five minutes worth of new content right it has to be like when i think of directs like i think like pokemon when a pokemon direct happens it's like a pretty big deal they announce like a couple of brand new things to the game so i mean i'm just saying like it's gotta be huge obviously i'm gonna keep my hopes low because at this point with nintendo that's what we gotta do we can't have high expectations we can't expect to get everything we want because like i said it's nintendo my windows are open i feel like my neighbors are listening to me hang on there was nobody outside but i still felt like somebody was eavesdropping my conversation because everybody in this world is nosy i'm gonna keep my expectations why is this so uneven what what is the spacing on this that looks so dumb. My expectations are low, but they're also high. I'm expecting a lot, but I wouldn't be surprised if they gave us little bits of information instead. I don't know. Does that make sense? What am I expecting though? Obviously Brewster. They're gonna show off the roost and like probably... What am I expecting from the roost in general? Personally, I'm expecting it to be exactly like New Leaf. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, like I don't think there's gonna be any major changes to the roost. Damn it, my pockets are full. I hope we get more pocket spaces. I mean, that would be a game changer. <laughs> Let's be honest. If we had more pocket space, like they gave us, I don't know, maybe like a second page. So it's like we have 40 and then you can go to the next page and have 40 more spaces. That would be pretty sick. Let's be honest. We're gonna get Brewster. We're gonna get some like seasonal items. Um, They're probably gonna like say, oh, Thanksgiving's coming because this is a November update. So it's probably gonna be something for Thanksgiving giving as well that's why i'm expecting the update to come like right at the beginning of november more so than the end but it could also be like you know, a Thanksgiving update in general. Just like, it's all, it's just Thanksgiving. Just Thanksgiving and the roost, nothing else. 
That's it. Uh, by the way, this code that I'm using is by Alex of Fodland once again. Their Instagram is down below in the description, so go check them out if you'd like. I honestly don't know. Like, what am I looking for in an update? I always bring up what I want personally in updates. I want more customization, bulk crafting, um, customized fences. That would be really cool. More dialogue, Tortimer's Island. You know, it's all like the same shit. I'm not, there's nothing new that I'm expecting from an update at this point. Like, that's why I don't really want to like talk about that because I'm pretty sure everybody who's been here for a while, you're just sick of hearing me go like, oh my God, can we already custom, can we customize our fences already, please? That's all I want, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm still hopeful for like this direct to be like sick but at the same time i'm just kind of confused at this point i'm just i'm just waiting for the direct announcement they're announcing the direct in sometime this month i'm expecting the actual update to come out like beginning of november so they're probably gonna announce the direct sometime in the next two weeks and it's probably gonna be the last tuesday of october or maybe the second last tuesday so either the 19th or the 26th that's my personal guess i don't know i could be wrong maybe they'll surprise all of us and have I've announced a direct this week. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. And of course, they announced the direct the day after I say that. Thank you so much, Nintendo. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> it's me in the future. And by me in the future, I mean the me from yesterday who's currently editing this video. What's up? I just wanted to quickly share the thumbed up of thoughts that's in my head right now because of the fact that we're getting an Animal Crossing update very soon. They're announcing it next week. That's crazy. So clearly it's going to be a big update because this is a November update. This is what's confusing me. It's a November update, but they're announcing it in the middle of October. I don't know. Like usually when like companies and stuff announce updates for the game, it comes out the next week week so that's why i'm pretty sure like it's gonna be a lot of like november related things but i feel like there's gonna be some minor tweaks and changes to halloween as well that's why they're announcing it next week or it could just be because of the legend that is at i have brewster on twitter aka elena telling nintendo herself to announce the update on brewster's birthday everybody say thank you elena basically she's the only reason why brewster is coming to animal crossing we have to give it up to her no but like honestly i'm just coming in right now because i want to share my thoughts i have different thoughts now because they announced the direct what do i think is coming in this direct um obviously brewster again like i said some minor changes to halloween i feel like they're gonna just i don't think it's gonna be anything too crazy i think they're just gonna add like more items and like maybe some minor changes to the event itself i mean i don't expect like a completely different event because like it's animal crossing it's basically the same event every year they've been doing that pretty much since the beginning so i don't expect like a completely different halloween event Gosh, I'm so out of breath. Sorry, I'm in the closet right now. Everybody's home. I'm trying to do this without anybody hearing me. Nintendo, thank you for throwing a wrench into my plans. Halloween itself, I think they're just adding some more items. Minor changes here and there. Maybe they're gonna bring back lollipops into the mix. That would be pretty cool from New Leaf. Y'all remember the lollipops? Or were the lo are there lollipops in this game? I can't remember. I'm too lazy to Google it. Someone will yell about it in the comments. Please do. I will thank you for that. More importantly, I said like I don't ex I expect Brewster to be the exact same that he was in New Leaf. That has since changed because Obviously, for starters, he's going to be in the museum like he was in City Folk and Wild World. So that leads to the next question. Is KK Slider going to start performing in the museum again? Because honestly, I wouldn't mind if he did. It would be pretty cute if he started performing in the coffee shop once again. It would bring more purpose to the roost instead of just going there for coffee. Because let's be honest, in New Leaf, aside from going for the little part-time job, I wasn't really going to the roost. <laughs> like, if he were to perform in the roost again, that would be pretty cool. It'd be a, a nice little nod to the old their games so other things um the part-time job is that coming back it probably is i don't think that's gonna change at all but i feel like instead because in new leaf instead of getting paid to do it he would trade you coffee beans for labor and then you can just sell the coffee beans i think coffee beans are gonna become a crafting item i don't know if that makes sense i mean honestly we can use pumpkins to craft in this game so who's to say we can't use the coffee beans from new leaf to start crafting items as well because obviously it's animal crossing new horizons so that clearly means 
means there has to be some kind of crafting mechanic in every single fucking detail because crafting for some reason is the main selling point of this game even though I heavily despise it at this point it is so annoying I'd rather just buy everything please it's so much easier even in real life like I mean like Ikea is like a great example Ikea has such cute furniture but then you have to go and build it and even though I'm like pretty good at building it it is so annoying to have to build a bed I don't want to fucking build a bed I just want that bed <laughs> do I look like Bob the Builder no like <laughs> And it's the same thing in Animal Crossing. Why do I have to craft a couch in a video game? Why can't I just buy it? Especially the log one, because the log couch is like the cutest couch in the game. And the fact that Tom Nook won't just sell them at the fucking Nook shop, that is so rude. Anyways, I'm going off topic. I hate physical labor. That's what I'm trying to say. But I, like, what? Are we going to have to craft, like, fucking... <laughs> do we have to craft coffee machines or something? Is that what they're going to do? Nintendo, please don't do that. Please just get rid of the crafting mechanic as a whole and give us unbreakable tools. But yeah, like I said, there has to be, like, some kind of new furniture set or something like that in the thing it's obviously going to be something like related to like kitchens and coffees and stuff i don't know i'm trying to think maybe there's going to be like a cooking mechanic that comes with the cafe that would be pretty cool maybe that's going to be a part of like the new part-time job you're going to be able to start cooking food and then you can get more like items to kind of fill up your fruit meter oh that's the other thing the fruit meter i bet now that coffee is coming to the game because coffee is going to come back to the game you can use those as well to dig up trees that makes sense drink a cup of coffee and then boom you can dig up a tree my windows are wide open i feel like one of my neighbors are hearing me right now even though i'm in the closet i still feel like someone is hearing me in this situation oh my god um what else do i want to say november like it's a november update so obviously thanksgiving is gonna come back into the mix do i expect anything different for thanksgiving no um, this is cute, and I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Doesn't this look lovely? I believe it looks lovely. Um, I guess what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna time travel to, like, tomorrow and just kind of let the trees grow in, and we'll give, like, a final tour of this area. Hello, Miss Isabel. Do you have anything to say to us three days later? No. Anybody thinking right now in the plaza? Ooh, Teddy and Melba are here. And Melba wants to talk to me. I want to ask you something, Vis. Right now, we greet each other as sprockets of bitch. <laughs> Should we change that up? I got a new one right now. Y'all agree with this? Because I do. Ah, damn it. That works. Sprocket is still a B word. Anyways, Teddy, do you have anything you want to say? I'm going to do a few hundred laps around the island. No big deal. You want to come, babe? Why don't you ask your girlfriend, Teddy? Oh, oh my God. He's literally running off to ask her. I'm glad you're never too busy to check in with me, Tater Tot. I'm only checking in with you because you're in the way, Margie. Can you please move? Alrighty-o. Time traveled a few days to let everything grow in and such. I'm pretty happy with the outcome of that. It looks nice. This is pretty cute overall. Um, it'll obviously look a lot better when the leaves on the trees match the leaves on the ground, but I'm not complaining anyways. Wolfgang is right over here, and he's in a much better fit than he was the last time. This weather might be gloomy, but seeing you cheers me up any- Bitch, stop flirting. We're on camera. Good job, Wolfgang. He always knows what to say, and he's sitting right right in front of the waterfall. That's Wolfgang's house done and sorted. What do y'all think? I guess here's like a quick final tour. Here's Wolfgang's house itself. Very cute, very fun. There's a garbage corner right over here behind the tree. Very cute, very fun. This lovely path that leads back onto this little main road. And of course, his little hangout zone right over there that I like to think only he could access from a side door in his house. Let's pretend that that side door is right behind the tree. Or even better, let's just pretend that window is actually a door. I have not much else to say, so... Um, bye. Good evening, nerds. Took a little break, but now I'm back. As you can see, it's almost seven. Uh, the sun is starting to set in game, which is very weird. Anyways, here's Miss Pecan. Let's chat to her since she is the newest resident of the island. My dear, isn't this weather divine? I tell you, clear skies like this make me feel like anything is impossible. What a great introduction, Pecan. Good for you. Uh, what the fuck is Whitney wearing and why is she thinking? Oh my god. <laughs> Just when I absolutely must have a cardboard box. They become impossible to find. There's two right over there. What do you mean? Why do you... <laughs> Why does she want a cardboard box? Whitney, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I'm gonna work on Agnes' house now. I don't really know exactly what I want to do with it. I kind of showed you before, like, where it is. We might as well head over there right now. And, um, oh my god, look at this fucking himbo. Um, what is Margie wearing? Why is everybody wearing... <laughs> Fuck gave her a sushi costume. Mar- <laughs>
Margie, 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 I can't keep doing this. Hang on, I, no, I can't do this. We are taking a brief intermission. I'm gonna grab some bells. I'm buying my villagers some clothes right now. I can't keep living like this. Whitney and Margie, I, mm. I just, first it was Wolfgang wearing whatever the hell he was in the morning, and now it's this. Mm-mm-mm, I can't do this. Hang on, please let there be some decent items in Able Sisters. Otherwise, I am going to scream. <laughs> Let's go straight to the dresses. Okay, there's some pretty cute things. I've already given Margie and Whitney this, but I think Margie would definitely look good in this dress right here. 100%, she would look amazing in that. And I think I'm gonna get the purple one for Whitney. They can match. Sure, why not? I've got a dress for you. That looks 100% better <laughs> on her than what she was wearing before. Thank goodness. Uh, now I gotta run home and grab the red one. I wish there was a way not have the clothes automatically go to your house storage as soon as you finish shopping. Like, just go straight to your pockets. Like, before you leave, it, like a little menu. Like, do you want to send them to your inventory or do you want to send them to your house? Something like that. Or maybe Mabel can ask you. Nintendo, you have a direct coming out this month. Please, please let that be one of the features that you announce. Please, please. And even if you don't announce, it. Can you just bring that into the game? That's all I ask. All right, let's give Margie this dress right over here. Boom, an instant improvement once again. It looks so good on her. Oh my goodness. God, why does she even have a sushi costume? I don't know. I don't remember giving that to her. I don't know. Who Ooh, this jacket over here. That looks really nice too. If Wolfgang's home, I'm gonna give it to him, but if- oh, he's right here. Good job, Wolfgang. I'm giving him two pieces of clothing in one video. How exciting. Serving looks once again. Anyways, <laughs> sorry that I got very distracted. First and foremost, here's Wolfgang's house once again. I mean, you just saw it, but I'm showing it off once again. Uh, since I did time travel a lot, Agnes' house has moved and we can start working on it. But like I said, I don't really know what I want to do with her house as of yet. I kind of want to just like, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I just, I don't know. I have like this little pathway that kind of leads up to Agnes's house so I guess like we could just kind of do some things and figure it out as we go along. I don't really have any inspiration. This is gonna be a bit of a struggle really. That's the best way to put it. Good luck to me as I try and figure out Agnes's house. How many times am I gonna say Agnes's house? I don't know but <laughs> I guess like for starters I have this giant cliff right behind Agnes's house. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the cliff exactly the same way. I just kind of did it so that there's you know, some <laughs> stuff. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let me just stop talking. Well, I don't even know what I want to do on the third tier. I kind of just have this cliff over here to kind of break up the space. I'm going to grab some fences and kind of create like a little, a little area right behind Agnes's house. Just like add some fencing just to kind of, I don't know, fences. It's always good to fence your house in, I guess. Hopefully I have enough. The struggles begin because like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm coming into this blind. Don't go there. Yeah, completely blind. I have like this dirt patch over here, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm probably going to get rid of it. I had like one idea planned, but then I realized like that's probably not going to work out because I was going to give her like a little rundown kind of cooking area sort of thing with like the clay furnace and everything but then I realized like it's Agnes and Agnes's house is very like current and contemporary so I don't think that's gonna work out. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is give her a little moat and flower garden because I think Agnes would prefer those instead of <laughs> what I was just talking about. I guess there's like kind of Eldnew vibes in what I'm doing right now. I have no complaints because I think Eldnew is a great island to copy off of if I do say so myself. There's no bias in that. Or should I give her a flower garden or should I give her a pumpkin patch? Would Agnes, what would Agnes do with the pumpkin patch though? I feel like Agnes is more of a flower garden girl. Yeah, we'll give her a flower garden. Dig this fossil up because that's clearly not needed. We're gonna create like a little flower garden. I think, like I said, I'm kind of inspired by Elnu, but I feel like it was like Maya Crossing or someone as well who has like houses kind of decorated in the way that I'm about to do it. So even if it isn't Maya Crossing, let's be honest, I'm probably copying her without even knowing. So we can roll with that. Oh, I can't shake these peaches off. There's weeds everywhere. I don't know if I want to keep these weeds. 
Like, should I just let this whole area grow out and have a bunch of weeds and kind of be like a little abandoned study area? Let me grab, what can I grab? I put this peach here for decoration, but honestly, it's not really needed. I'm just gonna use it to dig up a tree instead. Oh, it's been so long since I had a bunch of cedar trees to use to decorate. I've been running so low. Oh, I have fruit in my pocket. Never mind. I've been running so low trees and such. So like, I finally took the time to plant a bunch of trees and bushes and everything to like use. Oh, and it feels so weird. Just having a bunch of trees on one corner of my island. Let's just plant this tree right over here. Create this. That that works. That kind of works. And then I think I'm going to just like extend, kind of give like Agnes a bit of a yard, you know, just so she like kind of has a space that's hers. <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like Agnes, I mean, Agnes is a bit of a bougie girl. So like she kind of deserves a proper yard, you know, that's for her and such. So let's just do this. Should I use the stone fence or should I use it? I think I'm going to use the hedges instead. Like so. That's great. That's fun and dandy. So we'll grab some flowers next, I guess. I have a purple rose in my pocket. I want to give her like a bunch of flowers, not just like one type of flower. So it's, you know, variety that's always fun so let's think when we think agnes i think purple i think black i think white for some reason yeah she has white on her and i think pink so we got a bunch of well everything like let's see we got a purple rose a black tulip i need eight flowers total so maybe i can put one purple rose and one other colored flower and then just use a bunch of black and white to fill in the space. So I don't know if I want to use these pink cosmos. I'm not really a fan of them. I don't know. I just feel like they're too bright. There aren't really any like pink flowers. Those are the only pink flowers I have. So should I just use a green mom? Would y'all be mad if I just used a green mom? Green and purple go together right? That's, that's correct. Let's just use a green mom. I got a bunch lying around over here, as you can clearly see. So maybe we'll put like the purple rose right up front and center, just right over here. Maybe like the green one over here, and then just kind of put the blacks and the whites. Maybe a yellow. Maybe I'll stick a yellow somewhere. Let's grab a yellow hyacinth. I just feel like yellow would go well in that little arrangement as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do it, and y'all can't stop me. Let's put the yellow one right over here, and then maybe put the black one. No, I'll put the white cosmos here, black tulips over here. I guess I'll just grab another black, white, and yellow and continue the pattern. I don't want to use the same flowers. So I used a yellow hyacinth. So I'll grab a white hyacinth, a white cosmo. So I'll grab a yellow cosmo. Ooh, no, I'll grab a black cosmo. I have black cosmo somewhere. Hang on over here. I only have two. So <laughs> got to get to breathing, th breathing them, not breathing. That's weird. And then I'll just grab a white tulip because I think that's going to work. Yeah, sure. Put the yellow flower right up in front over here. Oh, damn it. I don't want to use two cosmos. Hang on. Let me grab a mum instead. Don't want the mums to be in line with each other. So let's put the mum over here. Now let's just use a different flower. Actually, no. Fuck it. We can have mums on the same side. It doesn't matter. Actually, let me just figure this shit out. <laughs> Maybe I'll put the cosmos here and then the yellow flower here where I'm standing and then the white flower in the spot next to that. Does that work? Sure, that works. That's Agnes's little flower garden. I think it's adorable. What do you think? Cool, thank you for sharing. I think I kind of want to put like a stone fence just like right over here, like so. I don't know. I feel like that works. And then what, what else would go in a garden? What works in a garden? Maybe a garbage can, should I put a garbage bin? I feel like I use garbage bins everywhere though. Hang on, I did order something. I ordered a hose reel. It should be in my mailbox. Let's see if that will work. Oh my God, Dobie sent me a letter. Get some, oh, I thought it said get some advice, Vis. I was like, excuse me? Got some advice, Vis. I'm probably always yakking about how, how, how you, bleh, bleh, words. I'm probably always yakking about how you should work hard, but you gotta know how to kick back and be lazy too. That's an important life skill, a skill that I've mastered. Get you a man who cares about you the way Dobie cares about you. Okay, this hose reel is yellow though, so it's probably gonna look really weird, but I'm gonna try, wow, it got dark real quick. I think this is the first time I've ever like recorded in the dark in Animal Crossing. I don't usually record videos at night because <laughs> do people wanna watch people play Animal Crossing at night? That's a genuine question, by the way. Let's see if the garden hose looks good. Uh yeah, I guess that works. I'll probably move it over here instead. Oh God, 
Let's check this amazing pile of furniture down here. All this extra furniture that I'm going to be using on the island. Let's see if there's like a stone stool or something. Ooh, maybe a garden faucet. Ooh, or a garden gnome. Agnes would definitely have a garden gnome in her on her garden. On her garden? By her garden? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just put the garden gnome. What color is it? Yeah, purple. That works. We'll just put that right there. Ooh, I know what to do. We'll put... We'll do what I usually do. I'll put a puddle right here and then we'll put another flower on top of the puddle. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Flowers can reproduce. So we can do this. Boom. That works. That works for sure. All right, that's that sorted. Now we got the rest of Agnes's house to do. I gave her a little garden for no reason, but I'm not complaining. I still think it's a very adorable garden. Agnes seems like someone who likes to do yard work. Now the question is, what do I want to do with the rest of this area <laughs> in general? Like, what do I want to do? I don't know. Well, I guess like the fence can just kind of stop right there. So it's not we have like all this space. I guess like the main thing I want to do is kind of just have like a natural area. Maybe Agnes will have like a little bit of stuff right under her thing. Just like that. I don't know. That's giving like norm core vibes. I remember on my original island, like the first ever island I got at launch, like I did this under every single villager's house just because I thought it looked cool. I don't know where this path is going to go up until and what I'm going to just like do <laughs> past all of this but it's good to have for now just so yeah words um i don't know where i was going with that statement once again shout out to colin crossing for these tiles they look sick let's just grab a few trees maybe no i don't want to put the trees down yet i want to do that afterwards but what do i want to do good question um that's a good start and now I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I said it was a weird idea before with Wolfgang, but honestly, I feel like Agnes would have a graveyard by her house, or a, gra a tombstone, sorry, by her house. I might swap it out for something else instead. Actually, do I have anything that I could craft and put over there? Cause I don't know, I feel weird using a tombstone. Ooh, maybe I have a stone tablet. Oh, I think I have one, Never mind. I think I'm gonna use a stone tablet instead cause I feel weird using a tombstone as like a decor piece and not as, well, a tombstone. Hang on, let's see if I have one nearby. Oh god, this is gonna take a while. Oh, found it. Thank god. I thought it was gonna be some ways away. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab some bushes as well because I wanna use these. Now, is this stone the bright color? Yes, it's the moss color. That's the one I wanted to use. Perfect. I love when things work out in my favor. Perfect. And then we're gonna put a weed there, like so. Or should I put it like that. Now I'm gonna put it, um, should I put a weed or should I put a furniture piece instead? I kinda wanna put this cricket. <laughs> I don't know why, I just wanna put a cricket right here. I think that makes a lot of sense. Does it make a lot of sense to you? Because it sure does make a lot of sense to me. We'll put a weed right there. Cute, cute, cute. That looks, well, cute. All right, I kind of have an idea for what I want to do elsewhere, but it's going to require hunting down some items. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. God, Gino De Campo, that one Italian chef dude with the accent. Is it weird that I find him hot? <laughs> Is it weird that I think he's attractive? Is it concerning? I don't know why I do. I just think he's hot. <laughs> you know who else is hot? What's her face? Ella Vade from Drag Race. Are we really surprised that I find Ella Vade attractive? Comment down below. Are you surprised? Yes or no? I'm sorry, y'all. I think, I think Ella Vade out of drag is very, very gorgeous. He is very gorgeous to me. No, don't sit down, you weirdo. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Fun, fun, fun. Now what? Now what, what, what do I want to do? It was like, I finally had something figured out and now I'm back to being stuck because <laughs> life just has to work that way, you know? Put the bike right here because I think that looks good there. I'm actually going to move this cricket because I need to look for, oh, this is going to be fun to look for. I need to look for a utility pole and I have no idea where all my remaining utility poles are. Hang on, they might be up here. Because for some reason, I have a bunch of furniture up here as well. I don't even remember putting all this up here. I have no idea how it got up here. I'm not going to question it any further because I found a utility pole. Anything else here that would be of value? Jack Black. I've already talked about him, but yes. 
I had a crush on Jack Black as a kid, and yes, I'm screaming at the fact that he is playing Bowser in the upcoming Mario movie because yes, I did also have a crush on Bowser growing up. It literally is a when worlds collide moment. Hey, okay, that works. I think that works. Um, obviously this is supposed to be a sidewalk, so utility poles on the actual sidewalk doesn't make sense, but I don't care. Anyways, what do I want to do? What should I put like right here? Maybe, maybe a street lamp. Let me grab one. I guess like I'll fill in this. Should I fill it in with tiles? No, I'm going to put a, like a little, a little thingy thing here instead. Where is the thingy thing? This thingy thing. Where is the street lamp? And then I remember telling myself I wanted to do this, so I'm gonna do it right now. Let's add some barbed wire fencing right here because for some reason I was like, yes, there needs to be some barbed wire fences right here for some reason, I don't know why. We'll add another stone fence right over here. Uh, what is this, what is this calling for? Let me think, let me use my big juicy brain. Think, what is this area calling for? I think it's just calling for some weeds. Sometimes in life, less is more. Now I'm gonna grab a bush and we'll grab these boxes. I don't know, I find it weird. Like imagine you're just like, I mean, this is like my style of decorating, but if you really think about it in real life, just like you walk by and there's a bench with like a bunch of cardboard boxes behind it on the street, like that is a little weird. Um, That's obviously a very interesting way to decorate. <laughs> um, I don't think people would do that in real life. Frankly, I feel like that would be very unprofessional for a proper designer to do, but this is Animal Crossing, so I do not give a fuck. I will do what I want. Yes, I'm adding just two pieces of cardboard box. Pieces of cardboard box, does that make sense? Sure, let's just go with it. Right over there, because I can. And that works for now. I don't know what else I wanna do, so I think we're just gonna end off by adding a few trees. We need five trees, five, I was about to say five pieces of trees. <laughs> that is not correct. I'll probably do like all the zhuzhin up the path and stuff off camera. Are we surprised? No. Mm. What the fuck was that? Hi, I heard a noise in my house and I'm currently home alone. All my animals are okay, so it wasn't any of them. So I'm currently shitting my pants. Um, I turned on all the lights in my house and now I'm just sitting in my room. <laughs> Let me just quickly plant these trees. And while I do that, I'm gonna recite my outro because I'm gonna go hide under the covers as soon as I finish recording. So anyways, we are now at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know what the fuck this video was, but honestly, I am not complaining, but I am freaking the fuck out because I don't know what that noise was. And yes, I may be a person who is big and can fight, but I'm still scared as shit. So <laughs> let me hurry up and plant these fucking trees. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna put a bamboo right over here and then we'll put a sapling tree thingy right over here. Let's put another sapling tree thingy right over here and a cedar tree right there. Anyways, yeah, um, if you like the video, like the video. <laughs> Comment down below whatever you want to comment down below and um, please subscribe and send me prayers because I feel like there's something in my house <laughs> Anyways, I gotta plant one more tree. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna plant a bamboo right over here Very cute. Oh, that's covering the garden. Oh, whatever and I'm gonna plant a sapling right there Boom. All right, that's it. Here's Agnes's house done and dandy. So bye